It's easy to make Google Earth Pro a part of your reporting. Its comprehensive collection of satellite, 3D, and terrain imagery lets you take your broadcast audience anywhere in the world and helps them understand the where of your story. And Google Earth Pro's movie-making features for PC and Mac let you travel to, tour, and record key story locations and export that animation as an HD video for use on air. If you don't already have Google Earth Pro, visit Earth dot google dot com right now and you can download it and grab a free license key let's say we're reporting on Venice Italy's problem with aqua alta or high water start by creating a new folder in the places panel this is where you'll keep the locations you select for your tour click on my places then click add in the top menu and choose folder now you can give your new folder a name and description. Now, position the globe for the first shot of your tour. Let's say it's London, but you can start anywhere. Maybe it's your current location, so viewers will clearly understand where you're taking them. Once you've gotten the camera pointed where you want it, click the Place Mark button in the menu. Let's call it A. Now let's zoom in above Venice. And move in a little closer. Click the place mark, and let's call this one B. But you can call your place marks anything you want. Here's a tip. If you want to tweak the camera positions for any of your tour's place marks, for example, show a specific street or landmark that helps tell your story, find it and position the camera just how you want it. Let's choose St. Mark's Square, one of the lowest areas of Venice, which can flood up to 100 times a year. Now right-click or control-click the location in the Places panel and select Snapshot View. So now, when the camera travels to that point, this is the image it will ultimately show. If you want to add more locations to your tour, just repeat the steps and add additional place marks. And remember, you can also change the speed of your trip between points A and B, as well as other settings, in Google Earth Pro's Preferences menu. Just open Preferences and click the Touring tab. For now, let's just preview the tour we created between points A and B. First, make sure to uncheck the boxes for each of the place marks in your tour if you want to hide those yellow pins on the map. Make sure your map is at the starting point by double-clicking Place Mark A. And now, select the Venice Tour Place Marks folder in the Places menu you'll see a little folder icon appear just above the Layers menu. Click that to play your tour. If you're satisfied with the tour, let's save it by clicking this Save icon in the Tour Controls on the screen. Now you can give your tour a name and click OK. And the tour is saved in the Places menu. Now that your tour is saved, we can make our movie. Once again, double-click on your starting location in the Places menu so the movie will begin in the right place. These tour controls on the bottom left of the screen should have disappeared, but close them if they haven't. Movie Maker, as well as many other tools, will not function with the tour controls open. And now, go up to Tools in the menu and select Movie Maker. Next, make sure the Venice tour is selected in the Record From drop-down. Now you can set the movie's resolution and other options. And choose where you want to save your movie. You're ready to go. Click Create Movie, and as the movie renders, be sure not to open other programs. This will help keep the rendering process moving. Render times may vary based on the length of your movie and export settings. And there it is. Play your new movie. And if you need to, you can use post-production software to add additional labels and graphics. When making and using these movies, both Google and any data provider used for that imagery needs to be visibly credited when the map is shown. You can find Google's attribution guidelines on the Google Permissions page. And for more tips, check out the tutorials on the KML Touring page. Give your stories the power of where with Google Earth Pro. 
Thank you.